What's up everybody, it's your boy Ken A Daily, and today I'm going to show you how to make a long sleeve tee with a curved hem at the bottom and thumb hole cuffs. But without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So there's going to be a bunch of things that you're going to need for this tutorial. I'll put a list of everything, a link to everything and all that in the video description. Jumping straight into the tutorial, the first thing we're going to cut out is the main body piece. This is going to be the back body piece. So what you want to do is grab your fabric, double up on it by folding it over, then grab your template, fold it in half and place the fold of the template over the fold of the fabric. After you have done that, you just want to pin the template in place. There we go. Pin it in effect, full action shots right here. Afterwards, you want to grab your rotary cutter or a pair of scissors and cut along the template. Once you're done with all the cutting, you can remove the template and you should end up with something like this when it's all opened up. You want to repeat this one more time for the front body piece. Next we need to cut one of the body pieces neckline shorter than the other one so we can differentiate between the front and back body piece. So I measured about 3 inches from the top and made a small curve like this. So when you open up the body piece, it should look like this. Next we're going to cut out some sleeves. So double up on your fabric, get your sleeve template, fold it in half, place the fold on the fold of the fabric, and proceed to pin the template in place. Once everything is pinned, go ahead and cut around the template. Once you finish one sleeve, repeat this one more time for the second sleeve. Your sleeve piece should look like this. Next we're going to create the curved hem pieces. Take your fabric and double up on it by folding it over. Once you fold it over one time, you want to fold it over a second time. After the two folds, you want to grab your curve hem template and fold it in half. Place the fold of the template onto the top fold. In other words, the first fold that we created. Go ahead and start pinning the templates in place. Then you want to take your rotary cutter or pair of scissors and cut out the template. If you did everything correctly, you should end up with two separate pieces. Next, we're going to cut out the cuffs. What you want to do is grab your fabric, fold it over, get your ruler or rotary cutter and cut out a good length. A good width for your cuff is about 4 inches or 5 inches to be exact. And the length of each cuff should be the distance around your wrist. Next, we're going to hem both sides of the cuffs. So go to either side of either cuff, fold it down about a centimeter and use pins to keep the fold in place. Once you finish one cuff, you want to repeat this for the other cuff. Here's how the pinning should look on both cuffs. Take both cuffs to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the folded area. Next we're going to close up the cuffs, leaving a space for the thumb holes and the way that we're going to do this is by folding the cuff over, putting right sides together and then leaving a spacing in the middle of the cuff. The spacing should be about an inch and a half so make sure it's that wide. Try to be very consistent with your spacing or else it's going to feel really awkward on your hand. Once you're done with all the pinning, it should look like this. Take the cuffs to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along both ends of the cuff, starting and stopping at each pin. Remember to start and end with a back stitch as well. Next, you're going to hem the bottom of both body pieces. So grab your curved hem piece, place it along the right side of the body piece, 
pin it into place and then you want to take everything to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the curved piece. Now that the curved piece is sewn on, what you want to do is flip it onto the wrong side of the fabric. Make sure the curved piece is fully onto the wrong side of the fabric or else you're going to end up with a funky looking curve. So just make sure to take your time on folding it over. Once it's fully folded over, you can take an iron and iron down the area. After all the ironing is done, go ahead and pin the fold in place. Remember to also repeat this for the other body piece. Take everything to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the curved hem piece. Next, we're going to close up or sew the sleeve. All you need to do is have the right side of the fabric showing. Take one end of the sleeve and bring it over to the other end of the sleeve. Proceed to pin along the two ends, keeping everything in place. Here's how the pinning should look when you're all done. Take everything to your sewing machine and do a zigzag slash overlock stitch along the pinned area. Next, you're going to sew the cuff onto the sleeve. So turn the sleeve right side up and have the cuff inside out. Bring the folded part of the cuff over the raw end of the sleeve. If you did everything correctly, the raw ends of both the cuff and the sleeve should meet up. Then you can proceed to pin together the cuff and the end of the sleeve. When you're done with all the pinning, it should look like this around the cuff. Take everything to your sewing machine and do a zigzag slash overlock stitch along the end of the sleeve. Next, we're going to sew the two body pieces together. So have one of the body pieces faced up. Take the second body piece and have that face down over it. You want to go ahead and pin along these areas of the body piece. Take everything to your sewing machine and do a zigzag slash overlock stitch along the pinned areas. With the body piece and sleeves fully sewn, now we can attach them together. So with the body piece inside out and the sleeve right side up, you want to take the narrow end of the sleeve and place it into the armhole of the body piece. Match the seam of the sleeve to the bottom of the armhole and proceed to start pinning the two pieces together. When you're done with all the pinning, it should look like this. Take everything to your sewing machine and do a zigzag slash overlock stitch along the armhole of the body piece. Last thing to do is add the collar piece. So go ahead and get your measuring tape and measure the distance around the collar. After you figure out the dimensions for the neckline, you want to cut out a long piece with a width of about 4 inches. And the length should be the distance around your neckline plus 3 inches. Take your collar piece and fold it in half. Place the raw end of the collar piece along the neckline. You want to place the start of your collar piece along the seam of the neckline. So you can go on the left or right one, it doesn't matter, but you want to overlap it about 2 inches. Once you do that, you just want to work your way around the neckline. As you reach the other end or where you started, you want to match the extra fabric that's left over. So match or face them together, take a pin and pin them in place. Here's a quick view of the pinning. Alright, so sewing on the collar is pretty difficult, so I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Start one inch away from the collar seam or the shoulder seam. It's pretty much the same thing. You want to start one inch away from that, start with a back stitch. From there, you want to sew all the way around the collar. Once you approach the seam again or the shoulder seam, you want to stop one inch away from that. 
and then do a back stitch. Remember when we faced the ends together? Now we want to sew along that. So do a zigzag stitch along the two pieces so it's sewn together. After it's sewn together, you want to go ahead and cut off the extra fabric. Then you can put the collar back into the sewing machine and finish up your seam. If you did not understand what's going on, I have a couple of videos which shows this process over and over. So if you want to check those videos out, I'll leave a link down below on how to do the collar. And once you're done with everything, you can try on your long sleeve thumb hole tee. Let me know what you guys think about in the comment section below. But that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is your boy Kennedy Daily. Remember to keep it daily and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.